Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to install WordPress content management system on Amazon Web Services. And what we're going to need today is Putty, Putty Key Generator, and Amazon Web Services account. Now this uh, tutorial is sponsored by Emonomy.com in image advertising. So let's begin. So we're going to want to click on EC2 and we're going to go to launch instance instance and click there launch instance. We're going to install Amazon Linux AMI uh, and click select on 64 bit. We're using a micro instance, a free tier instance. Now, if you want your own uh, free tier for one year, click the link below in the description. So we're going to open one instance and click next. 8 gigabytes of standard and we're going to click next next again and what we're going to want to do here is add two rules first rule is for http which will open port 80 and the second rule is https which will open port 443 so review and launch if everything's okay click launch and what we're want to to do is create a new key pair I'm going to call this key pair WordPress and I'm going to download it. As you can see, file was downloaded, the PM file, and I'm going to launch the instance. Now, the instance takes around five to six minutes to be fully functional and operational. It's right now launching. So, uh, we have some time. What we're going to want, uh, what we're going to do in the meanwhile is we're going to convert that file we just downloaded. And we're taking the WordPress file and we're going to convert it to a different private key, a PPK file. We're going to call it under the same name WordPress and we're going to click save. Great. So this was part A of our tutorial. We're going to wait for the installation to finish and we're going to be back in a couple of uh, minutes. Around five minutes takes the whole setup. And I'm going to see you in part B of the video. Hi guys, welcome back to part B. And uh, this is the second part of uh, the WordPress installation on AWS. Now the next thing we're going to do after the instance is uh, up and running is create an Elastic IP. So we're going to take our uh, mouse and we're going to go to the left and click Elastic IPs. Okay, we're going to press Allocate New Address. And yes, Allocate. Great, we're going to right click, Associate Addresses, and we're going to put in the running instance. Now, if you don't have a name, that's how the instance will look like associate and we're going to go back to the dashboard as you can see the elastic IP is in and moving on to putty now we're going to do a copy paste to that IP into the putty let's put up the putty configuration okay great and what we're going to do in the SSH authentication we're going to put in the file that we converted to PPK, the WordPress file. Great. We're going to click open. And here we go. It's going to say that the host key is now cached in the registry. You can just click yes. And to log in, we're going to type ec2 user. Now the next thing we're going to type in is uh, sudo yum update. Now we're going to do this in order to update the server. I'm going to click right click and we're going to copy and we're going to paste by just clicking right click again. And this is going to ask us to download. Is this okay? Why? Yes. Now it might look like the installation is stuck after it gets to a certain point. Um, don't worry. 
it just takes a couple of more seconds and it finishes up. In the meanwhile, I'll uh, just remind you that this tutorial is sponsored by Imonomy in Image Advertising. And uh, if you have a blog with a lot of content, I highly recommend using Imonomy. So, it's update complete. And we're gonna install Apache Yum, install HTTPS. Uh, can't forget the sudo su before that. And uh, just copy paste it. And yes, just copy. Y and enter. Okay, so now that it's done, we're gonna do service HTTPD start to get it up and running. Great, so we're gonna go back to the dashboard for a second, copy paste the IP, and click enter. Okay, so now we're gonna install the PHP and MySQL, copy paste to that. Yes. And now we're gonna install the MySQL server. Great. Yes, I have to just check that everything is proper, just like with Apache, service MySQL, D start. We're gonna get that ready, copy paste it and press enter. It's going to give an OK. And now we're going to create my blog. Now you can call this whatever you want. You can create a, uh, it under a name your blog, the name of your blog, you can create just blog, whatever you want. So I'm just showing you an example where you can uh, edit it and click enter. Now the next thing you want to do is the MySQL secure installation, so copy paste that, click enter, and it's going to ask you for a password for root. Just click enter, don't enter anything, set pa root password, yes, new password, I chose pa the word password as my password, re-enter that, and now remove anonymous users, yes, this will allow root login, just Y again. Remove test database and access to it, yes. And reload privilege, yes. Great. So, now that we got that out of the way, we'll go into the HTML folder. Click Enter. And what we're going to do there is to install WordPress. So we got wget and the URL for the latest WordPress installation. You can get this at wordpress.org or in the description below. And installation is short, simple, and in order to make uh, WordPress uh, really functional, we need to deploy. So we're deploying the installation and clicking enter. Great. Next thing we want to do is change the name. I have uh, one too much in here. Okay, we want to change the WordPress to my blog. So we're going to do MV WordPress my blog, and it's going to be changed to my blog. Great. And we're going to do CD my blog. And we're going to want to change the WP config sample to WP config. So just copy this line and excellent. Now the visual editor, VI WP config, copy paste that, enter. And you're going to want to click on the letter I on your keyboard. And when you click I, you go into insert mode. Now you need to change the name of the database. Uh, in my case, it's my blog. Whatever you chose, you have to put in there. The username here is root, and the password I chose will be password. So, changing it to my blog, I'm changing it to root, and once I get to my password, here we go. I only have to delete the word here, and the word password stays. Great, now what you want to do is press escape, and after you press escape, you want to do uh, WQ. One second, here we go. And next thing we want to do is to restart the Apache. Uh, so, 
is like the start, but with the restart. So it's stopping it, it's starting it, and we're going to go back to the browser. Slash my blog. And we're in. So this was the tutorial on how to install WordPress on AWS. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, this tutorial was sponsored by Monomy in image advertising for publishers and startup bloggers. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.